Hey folks, and welcome back. We're here for you again and bringing the coolest vibes of NBA for you all. Dwight Powell's basketball journey is full of unusual twists, turns, and setbacks. Through them all, though, it's been guided by one idea. Don't hold back. Don't leave anything on the table by not reaching high enough. His hoop's career began by coincidence and has been fueled by tragedy. And even while trying to rehabilitate a career-threatening injury in the midst of a pandemic, he's looking ahead and looking out for others. Let's move forward with our video and have a look at the top 10 things you didn't know about Dwight Powell. So, let's begin. But before we proceed further, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do hit that subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any future NBA content. Birth and Career Time Dwight Harlan Powell has the birth date of July 20th, 1991. He first attended the IMG Academy in Barcelona, from where Powell was listed as the number 8 power forward and the number 25 player in the nation in 2010. As a freshman at Stanford in 2010-11, Powell earned Pac-10 All-Freshman Team honors. In 31 games, he averaged 8.1 points and 5.2 rebounds per game. As a sophomore in 2011-12, the Cardinal won the NIT Championship and Powell earned Pac-12 All-Academic Honorable Mention selection. As a junior in 2012-13, Powell earned Second Team NABC All-District, First Team All-Pac-12 and Pac-12 All-Academic Second Team Honors. He was also named the Pac-12 Most Improved Player of the Year. As a senior in 2013-14, Powell earned First Team All-Pac-12 Honors for the second straight year and was named to the NCAA All-South Regional Team. He was also named the Pac-12 Scholar Athlete of the Year and a Pac-12 All-Academic Honorable Mention Selection. Number 9 NBA Timeline On June 26, 2014, Powell was selected with the 45th overall pick in the 2014 NBA Draft by the Charlotte Hornets. On July 12, Powell's rights were traded, along with Brendan Haywood, to the Cleveland Cavaliers in exchange for Scotty Hobson and cash considerations. He then joined the Cavaliers for the NBA Summer League and signed with them on August 23rd. On September 25th, he was traded, along with 2016-17 second round picks to the Boston Celtics. On December 18th, 2014, Powell was traded to the Dallas Mavericks. He was assigned multiple times to the Texas Legends during his rookie season. On March 28th, 2016, Powell made his first NBA start and scored a career-high 16 points in 97-88 win over the Denver Nuggets. Number 8. A Canadian. Born and raised in Toronto, Powell is part of a growing legion of NBA players that hail from the traditionally hockey-heavy nation. However, despite growing up in a country that is not associated with basketball, Powell has said that the sport was popular in Canada when he was growing up and that the spotlight on the country's participation has only grown. Upon arriving in Dallas, he became the fifth Canadian to suit up for the Mavs after Bill Wennington, Steve Nash, Jamal Maglor and Samuel Delembert. Number 7. A Tough Loss while still at Stanford, Powell lost his mother, 53, to breast cancer. He returned to his mother's home in Boston after a Canadian national team camp to find her in much worse condition than she had originally indicated. I don't think she realized the severity of the situation that she was in, Powell said in a Mavericks article in 2018. Coach Johnny Dawkins and his staff, as well as some of Powell's teammates, flew to Toronto for the funeral. In October 2018, Powell hosted a Night of Hope function in Dallas. At the event, cancer survivors had the opportunity to mingle and share their stories, with the money going towards helping finding a cure to cancer through his foundation, the Dwight Powell Children and Family Support Fund. More than $600,000 was raised. Number 6. Promise Fulfilling after promising his mother long ago that he would complete his education and earn a degree, Powell came back to Stanford emotionally charged, healthy and focused. He became Stanford's leading scorer as a junior, averaging 14.9 points and 8.4 rebounds per game, earning first team All-Pac-12 honors and the conference most improved player award. As a senior, Powell again was named first team All-Pac-12, leading Stanford to its first NCAA tournament berth since 2008. In the second round, Powell's Cardinal took down fellow Canadian Andrew Wiggins' Kansas team to earn a spot in the Sweet 16. 
The Cardinal lost the next game to Dayton and has not been to the NCAA tournament since. Powell graduated with a degree in science, technology and society. Keep yourself tuned in as we discover five more amazing facts with you all. Hope you guys are enjoying the video and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, do it now in order to make sure that you don't miss out on any future NBA content from now on. Number 5 Helping fans with social distancing Mavs supporters may be struggling to figure out how far away they should be when social distancing. There's no shame in that. The idea is new to us all. Powell partnered with UT Southwestern Medical Center to offer some help. They put out a quiz with the goal of having some fun while improving your skills. Unfortunately, Dwight Powell will not be ready to play when the season resumes. He will continue rehabbing. Powell's goal is to be back on the opening night of the 2021 season. That looks likely to happen in December, giving him a bit of extra time. Fans know he will continue working hard. Hopefully, Powell is back on the court throwing down dunks soon. Number 4 A main man on the move Boston assigned and recalled Powell to and from the main Red Claws 10 times in about a month with the team. He had a big impact in four games, with Maine averaging 21.5 points and 10.5 rebounds. When he got to Dallas, the Mavs sent him to the D-League Texas Legends for one game after a week with the team. He spent eight games with the Legends in 2014-15 and has, and has been with the Mavericks ever since that season. Number 3 Seeking more exposure Powell played his freshman year of high school at Earl Haig Secondary School, a strong academic public school, but he didn't receive much exposure as a college recruit playing in Toronto. When he decided he wanted to play basketball at a higher level, Powell and his late mother, Jacqueline Weir, decided that the 14-year-old would accept a scholarship to the prestigious IMG Academy, an elite sports school in Florida designed to improve performance in aspiring athletes. Number 2 Offense Dwight Powell provides the Dallas Mavericks with a different look on the offensive side of the floor. He is one of the best role men in the NBA. Last season, he ranked 11th in points per possession in that category among players, with over one per game. Powell is also the Mavericks' most efficient scorer from the start to the 2017-18 season. He is shooting 59.7% from the field over 957 attempts. The 6'11 big man takes the occasional three-pointer, but he focuses on getting to and scoring at the rim. Powell fits the fifth role in Coach Carlisle's offense. The Mavs set that as the role man in their game plan. The team has no better option than Powell. Dwight Powell plays an important role in the Mavericks' offense that he feels better than any other player on the roster. Number 1 Defense Dwight Powell can hold his own on the defensive end of the floor. He cannot compete with the shot blocking of Kristaps Porzingis or Maxi Kleber's, but that does not make him inferior. Powell is a better rebounder, creates more steals and has the better defensive rating. Dwight Powell brings energy to the floor that can be infectious. He always hustles for rebounds or to get back on a fast break. Powell provides the Mavs with intangibles that are difficult to quantify, but makes them a better team. Dwight Powell is their third most important player because he provides the team with a lot of things no other player can. They need his rebounding, rim rolling and energy. Now the fans are eagerly awaiting for his return from the injury that he faced. Will he deliver in the same form or better? That's a question mark. So what do you guys think on this? Let us know your answers in the comment section below. And hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you've liked it and do hit that subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any interesting videos from now on.